Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Dream Daddy. Last time we had our first date with Damien, it went really well, Damien. and he seemed like a wonderful man. I he would did. I would consider that he so, might be another date. Matt's, Matt's, Matt's in. I liked Matt. The Damien's only problem with in. Matt is we screwed his date up really bad. Well, he was difficult. He was. But yeah, I like them both. So yep. far, so good. So we're going to at least try to date one of each and then see. Yeah, I think that's the plan. And maybe if there's certain ones we like a little bit, we'll then go we'll on two dates with them. we'll try the second date, yeah. I'm liking Damien. Damien was really good. I like that I'm date. liking Damien. Matt was, was pretty date. cool. Yeah, I liked Matt as well. They were both good. Um, yeah. My vote for the next one. Damien I know you probably want to check to Robert out. out. Robert's in, I like Robert. The but I picked La so you picked Matt. I picked Damien. So maybe you pick one now. Okay. Well, I know you're gonna probably pick Robert next. So I'll save him. I'm in between Brian and Hugo. Well, I also like Craig too. We haven't like seen Hugo. much of Brian. I think I want to go Brian. You want to try Brian? Yeah. Okay. I'm, he was the one I was the most curious about at the first, and then he got a little a little rivalry e, Ugh. and I was like, eh. But all right, we'll let's, message him. Let's try him. Let's message. Uh, let's try Brian on Brian. for size. I was Brian, right? I gave him like a hey, what's yeah. going on kind of voice. Well, he's Barry's voice, so go for that. Okay, I can't do a Barry, but okay, man, do I don't know how I feel about hanging out with Brian more. But it seems like Daisy and Amanda got along really well. Maybe I should just bite the bullet and hang out with Brian more for the sake of the kids. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to. I heard you. All right, I crack my knuckles and start typing. I tried to crack my knuckles there. Hey, Brian, grabbing burgers with you at the cookout yesterday. It was something. Great. It was great. I'll wait until that gets on the screen. Huh. Hey, Brian, gra great grabbing burgers with you at the cookout yesterday. We should get the kids together and hang out soon. I wait a couple minutes until a ding comes from the computer and a message pops on the screen. It's Brian. That makes sense. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, hey, hey, man. I always love a good burger with Buddy. We should definitely hang out. What do you think uh, about mini golf? We could try to bring girls out and have ourselves a little friendly competition. Rock on. Brian. I think I heard the mini golf was the other really difficult mini game. This should be fun. He signed his name. That's mm. cute. It's <laughs> cute. Friendly competition? This is perfect. I know Amanda and I will crush Brian at mini golf. I've been taking her to mini golf courses since she was a little kid, and I'm proud to say. That she's almost better than it, and then am I. Sounds like we're gonna have more competition. Oh. Almost. Almost. I type back. I feel bad. You're gonna be reading a lot. Yeah. Although That's we're taking the kids. And it's time to play the place. We will be there. Oh, he's gone. We're gonna be there. Hey, Amanda. Oh. Hey, would you be up for some mini golf with Brian and Daisy? Hey. I'm a little out of practice, and I know my backswing leaves something to be desired, but I, I think I can keep it in the negatives. Perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's do this. You ready for this? <laughs> right? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you said that. Arr, matey, I'm as ready as I'll ever be. Amanda's a pirate. <laughs> what are you ta Why are you talking like that? Because this mini golf course is pirate themed? Maybe? I just now realized that we are indeed standing on top of a giant pirate ship in the middle of a putt putt course. Whee! Ah. <laughs> Come on, Pirate Dad. Won't you talk like a pirate with me? Arr, ahoy, um, scurvy. <laughs> Avast ye, I don't see pirates, only angles. <laughs> There's no time for jokes. Is Avast ye, Avast of course. Ye. I'll make Brian and Daisy walk the plank with my superior golfing abilities. I mean, uh, doubloon? <laughs> Come on, Dad. You told me that this was just going to be some friendly competition. Friendly competition is dad code for actual competition. I need to prepare my body, mind, and soul to defeat Brian on the field of glorious battle. It's just mini golf. Just mini golf? It's so much more than that. I kneel down and place a hand on Amanda's shoulder. I just want you to know that there's no pressure. It's not a big deal. Don't worry about it too much. We have to beat Brian <laughs> at mini golf. Whatever happened to just have fun? Oh, we will have fun when we beat him. <laughs> Amanda gives me a side eye, but before I can side her, I side eye her back. I spot Brian and Daisy. Ah. Ahoy there, mateys! Hey, they're doing the bar thing too. Ahoy! Brian walks up with Daisy in tow. It looks like they already rented us some golf clubs for our mini golf excursion. Total power move. Why didn't I think of that? All right. It's convenient. All right, first mate. I hear there's a buried treasure in these waters. You gonna help me plunder it? Oh, Amanda, I don't think this is a real pirate ship. I think it's just to play putt-putt on. Daisy. <sighs> Daisy. Amanda gives Daisy a look like, Daisy. I mean, aye, aye, Captain. Oh, she gets it. Daisy winks at Amanda. Wink. They're gonna do it. No. Ah, look at those two. They're two peas in a pod. 
<laughs> so, I gotta get excited for some mini golf in. Mini golf in. Oh, you know it. I like mini golf and stuff. Uh, you gamble, man? Oh, no. <laughs> I don't. I, I know when hold to them. hold them, depends on what's on the table. Do I, I get, get you, you if I win? win? <laughs> I would say it depends on what's on the table. That'd be my choice. Okay. Hey. Oh, he liked it. He liked it. What are you willing to part with? Right. How about the loser buys drinks tonight? All right. But how about we make it a little bit more interesting? Well, I'm listening. Oh, my. The loser has to mow the winner's lawn this weekend. Well, my art's pretty big. Are you prepared to take that on? I think you should be a little more concerned with how you're going to maneuver around my hedges. It's highly technical work, not for the faint of heart. Whoa. I don't think I'll need to worry about that. I'm very good at mini golf, you know. Oh, yeah? Hole in one every time. Hmm. This yeah. isn't going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> what I just said is not a true thing, but I already came out of my mouth, so I have to stand by it. I'm looking forward to see that happen. Brian and I eye each other up and down. May the best dad win. Brian and I shake hands and lock eyes. It's about to go down. Okay, how is this going to work? Oh, gosh. So this is a tough one? That's what I've heard. Oh, so okay, I just got to... Okay, so just give it a sec. Oh, yeah, hole one. Okay. Oh, yeah, hole one. <laughs> You're good at this. Oh, hole one. <laughs> oh. Let's oh, I don't know how this one's gonna go. This oh, one maybe. looks tricky. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow, well, Lynn, you're good. Yeah, just take your time. Oh, <laughs> oh, <Lynn. It's> <laughs> you're good at this. <laughs> I'm impressed. Uh, you're a golf uh, machine. Uh, nope. That wasn't a hole in one. Oh. But that's not bad, right? Oh, that's a miss? Yeah. Okay, so it's a hole in one or bust, basically. Damn it. Damn it. Okay, you, you started strong. Is there 18 of these? Oh, that's a tricky oh, okay, one. You're going to want to do it off the wall. Yeah. That's hard. Hold one, hold one, hold one. Oh, yeah! Hold one! Woo! Woo! No, that's nope. going that's, back. That was a tricky looking one. Mm. Tricky looking hole. And one. It's freaking 18 of these. Oh, no. Oh. So that's not bad. I, right? That, that seems pretty good. Amanda pulls me aside. Well, Daisy... Amanda pulls me aside while Brian and Daisy start walking to the next hole. Uh, hey, you having a good time? I'm having a great time. I'm having a fantastic time destroying Brian underfoot. Uh, I just asked because <laughs> your eye is twitching. No, it's not. I feel my left eye twitch. Amanda raises her eyebrows. Hmm. We're out here to have fun, remember? It's just a game. You're right. It's just a game. A game with extremely high stakes. A game we're currently winning. <sighs> Dad. Oh. Please, Amanda. Please nail this next hole for me. We need to keep this streak going. Oh. It's really that important to you? Sure. Amanda walks over and tees up for a particularly hard windmill hole. Gripping her club, she wanes up, wanes up, and launches the ball into the parking lot. She looks me right in the eye and does an exaggerated shrug. Mm -hmm. Oops. Yeah. I disagree with her actions, but I appreciate. I disagree with her actions, but I appreciate her act of youthful defiance. She walks over and pats me on the back. That was for your own good. Love you, kiddo. <laughs> I don't get you. Oh God, there's more. <laughs> no more golf. There's more golf. Oh, That's damn it. One. That should have been further. Oh God, there's 18 holes. That's rough. What the hell is Where this one? Where the fuck one? is the hole? On the left. Oh, hole one! I'm gonna keep doing that. Okay. Oh, hole one! You can get that right straight on, couldn't you? Uh, oh, or that. Hole one. That also works. Ooh, that one looks hard. Yes, it does. Oh, hole one! What the hell is this? What the fuck is this shit? Can you just do it straight? What the hell are you supposed to do? I think supposed you have to do it straight. It? Try straight. What no. the frig was that? No. Boo! Two holes! Why is there two holes? I don't know. Oh. That one's fake, isn't it? Fake hole! Faker! Two more holes. Whoa! What the hell is uh, this? No. no. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. This is the windmill. What? Did, that looks did good. Did I get it? I don't know where the hole was. That looks good. Uh, uh. You got an achievement, so maybe that means we did okay. I try to maintain an air of professionalism because there's a child present. But confetti cannons are going off in my brain 
and someone is placing a wreath around me in the... So we did good. We did good. We got the, the Beth Dad emblazoned wreath. Man, that was some good shooting there, Cyrus. I have bested you on the field of battle. Mini golf is no joke. Mini golf is beneath me. Uh, ah! Mini golf is no joke. Uh, I bested you seems too too intense. Beneath me is just dick. Yeah. Mini golf is no joke. Just shows that you were you were feeling it, which he was. All right. Okay, yeah, I like that. The secret to mini golf is that you have to be really, really good at it. Yeah. All right, Daisy. Did you have a good time? Yo ho ho, I did. We haven't even found the buried treasure yet. I think we would need to apply for a permit to dig around here. I can take Daisy home so we can get the city paperwork started for digging. You two go enjoy your night. Sounds like a plan. Sorry, you cool with that? Sure, just don't get yourself into too much trouble. Can do. I'll make sure that we get into a perfectly reasonable amount of trouble. Amanda and Daisy skip away, yelling about buried treasure. Bless that kid's tiny, rebellious heart. Well, I guess we should hit the bar now. It's actually a tiki bar attached to this place. How about that? Sounds like a plan. Did we win? I guess we uh, won. Yeah, we won. Yeah. Oh, sweet. Brian and I walk into the Freaky Tiki, a kitschy island-themed bar. Palm trees adorn the walls, and several fake parrots are strewn about. Ukulele music, music plays softly in the background. Brian and I approach the bamboo bar. Guess I'm spending more time with Brian, which is a little more bearable since I won. Wonder what it'd be like if we lost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I just gotta get my victory drink and get out of here. I think I already proved my superior dadness for the day. Hey. Two pineapples of hospitality, please. The bartender whips up two rum drinks inside of a hollowed out pineapples. Hollowed out pineapples. He then... Bleh! He sets them on fire, and we have to blow them out before we can drink them. Usually I just like to, I don't know, drink my drinks. If you don't want yours, I'll take it. I miss out on the taste of victory? I don't think so. I take a sip of my pineapple of hospitality. Victory tastes fruity. Let's talk about lawn maintenance. I'm very particular. No electric mowers for me. I hand cut everything with scissors. I also only water the lawn with bottled sparkling water. Just ran out, so you're going to have to import some. Italian is preferred, but I'll settle Oops. for some other words sorry. as well. Sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't <laughs> it's okay. Mean to. It's sweet that you're willing to put all that work into care for your dead grass. <laughs> what? My grass is perfectly healthy. I oh, will dear. have you know. It's okay, buddy. I know the trick to perk back up. I'll work my magic when I finish trimming your glass with the tiniest pair of scissors I own. Man, even when he's trying to be helpful, I feel personally attacked. Oh, dear. While I sip more of my drink, I notice a TV in the corner. Hey, Extreme Makeover Deck Edition is on. I love this show. Always made me want to own a deck. Ah, I hate this show. Why? It's so clearly fake. Yeah, well, probably. Yeah, it's reality TV. Who cares? I care. I'm a general contractor. I work with decks all the time. There's no way they there's no way they're renovating those decks in a matter of two days. It's impossible. That's a three week job minimum. So you want them to cover those three weeks extensively in every episode? Can't be that interesting to watch a bunch of dudes slave over a deck for that long. Nobody would watch that. I don't like any of those home improvement shows. I wanna watch stuff that's real. Like long haul? Paranormal ice road truckers, ghost truckers, ghosts. Oh. I have terrible news for you, Cyrus. <laughs> no, no, not them too. <laughs> That's the awful truth. Hey. Not the ghosts, though. Those are real. <laughs> sure. Trucks just don't have emergency escape buttons. I've been lied to for so long. <laughs> we both chuckle and sip on our pineapples. So wait, you're a general contractor? Uh -huh. Sure am. I already helped plan the cul-de-sac we live in. There you go. Wow, nice work. Yeah, I kind of took after the footsteps of my old man. He was a general contractor, too? The best. He practically built half of this town with his bare hands. It's weird how you spend your whole life trying not to become your father, then you wake up one day and there you are. I get to work with my, but I get to work with my hands and pays more than enough to take care of my daughter, so it's an absolute dream job for me, at least. Hmm, that sounds impressive. Building stuff has always been my weak point as a dad, and... I've been okay with that until now. Now I must defeat him. <laughs> I do have that patio furniture that I have been putting, uh, haven't put together. 
still sitting in the garage. Okay, okay, maybe I should cool it with a dad competition. Gotta keep it light. Tell him one of your classic jokes, ask about his daughter, stare at him down on blinking. I feel like he likes like his daughter. Daughter is always a good He likes his daughter. Daughters. <laughs> oh, daughter yeah. eggplants. <laughs> daughter. So, Daisy seems pretty smart for her age. Yeah, he likes that. Yeah, she's a genius. She definitely doesn't get it from her old man, though. It's actually a little embarrassing. She beats me at Scrabble constantly. To be fair, Scrabble's really hard. I can barely make good words when I have the whole alphabet in front of me, let alone seven letters. Uh -huh. Brian laughs. Oh. See, we can keep things friendly here. This is perfectly pleasant. <clears throat> I could do this all night. Because I feel an innate need to impress Brian and prove that I am better than him, obviously. <laughs> That's the only reason. I think. Let's keep it huh. moving. Ask about the dog. Complain about, about kids, kids these, these days. days. Compliment, Compliment his, his beard. Ask about his dog. He's like that. Just a second. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Sorry, he liked it, though. So, you have a dog. Sure do. Hmm, I can't quite remember what he looks like. It was like a fucking adorable corgi. It's a corgi with a little bandana. And always a, he's a little corgi. He has a handkerchief around his neck. Always. Yeah, I'm not getting it. I think I might need a visual reminder to jog my memory. If you happen to have any pictures of said dog, maybe on your phone? Whoa. Brian Of course laughs. he does. <laughs> Cyrus, if you wanted to see pictures of Maxwell, you could have just asked. Show me the goods, then. <laughs> he likes puppies. Show me your doggy. <laughs> Brian pulls out his phone and flips through an entire album of dog pictures. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. <laughs> what a good boy. <laughs> I look around the room and take in all the kitschy decor. Looking for something else to comment on. There's a gigantic fish hanging above Brian and I gesture to it. Cool fish. Definitely fake. Really? Uh. Everything in here is fake. That palm tree over there is just a ficus with plastic coconuts glued to it. I look over. He's right. But I almost caught something like that fish once. Mine was bigger, though. Of course it was. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, really? Yeah. Went on this trip to Hawaii maybe a decade ago. We were out on the sea for three days catching fish, drinking beer, you know, guy stuff. We had a hot... We had a hot plate on the boat so we could sear the fish right after we caught it. Throw a little bit of salt and lemon in there. Oh, man, that's some of the best food I ever had. That actually sounds amazing. <laughs> well, it was the last day. Everyone had gone to bed already, but I was out there watching the stars. I had my line out, too. Then all of a sudden, it just starts running. Running. Oh. What starts running? His line? Oh, his line starts running. So I jump on the reel before it gets ripped out of the rod rack and start fighting with my damn thing. With the damn thing, not my damn thing, <laughs> the damn thing. <laughs> I'm up there for maybe an hour. Can't call out to my shipmates. Just man against Cause, nature. Because I'm fighting, <laughs> fighting my damn thing. Finally, I start to tuck the guy out. <laughs> the, the fish. The fish. <laughs> I get like, him up to the surface. Like penis. <laughs> finally get sight of it. The biggest marlin ever seen. Hemingway asks, I get it into the boat single-handedly. Uh -huh. And you know what happens next? What happens next? The damn thing smacks me in the face with its tail. Knocks me out. I wake up next morning on the deck. Fish gone. Never felt dumber. So it got away? I think there was another version of me that would have spent the rest of my life trying to capture that damn... That fish captain Ahab style. I get it. I'm sure Daisy would be supportive. Ah, ah man. Fishing's the life. I haven't got enough lately. You go fishing? Actually, I have a confession to make. Wait, what am I doing? Why am I having this inexplicable urge to be vulnerable with him? I can't tell him I'm terrible at fishing. I lean in close. I'm amazing at fishing. I'm the best of it. No one can open. Oh, Those are all on. the same. You lying sack of shit. The next, was... the next date's going to be a fish off, isn't it? No one can outfish me. I'm the best. I'll just say I'm amazing. I'm amazing at fishing. That's the least Yeah, that's the one. least. I'm the best ever. I'm simply the best out there. <laughs> Okay, since you're such a pro, I'm taking you fishing. You want to go fishing? Wait, don't answer that. Yes, you do. We're going fishing. Oh, no. Oh, uh, I don't know. Come on, it'll be a blast. Another perfect little fishing spot. Bring some beers. We can just sit back, relax, and reel in some trout. We'll bring the kids with us. Come on, you know you want to. I sigh. I've been cornered. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Brian gives me an exuberant high five. Yay. Yeah, maybe we'll see if you can catch the most fish so I can get you mowing my lawn. 
You can try to beat me, but they don't call me Cyrus good at catching fish game face for nothing. That's what we call me. <laughs> I am spinning a web of lies that I fear will one day consume me. <laughs> Sounds like it'll be a scrap. Brian and I finish our drinks and head outside. Till next time. This is a great opportunity for friendship. I'm real excited. Kiss my best, Brian. Op opportunity like is the cheesiest one. Yeah. yeah oh, he likes that. Right. And also for catching more fish than Brian. You're acrylic me with these buns, Cyrus. <laughs> Mull it over. You come around the fish related jack. Mull it over. You'll, you'll come around the fish related jad jokes in no time. Brian extends his hand and gives me a friendly but firm handshake. I see the competitive fire in his eyes. This is going to be a whole thing, isn't it? Hmm. I think we did on good on that one, too. Hopefully. It seemed we did. Once Brian takes over babysitting duties, Amanda walks home with me. She immediately plops down on the coach and flips on the TV. So, how was your hang with Brian? He wasn't too spicy about his crushing defeat, was he? Nah, he was pretty gracious about it. Like, frustratingly gracious. Yeah, how dare that guy have some decency. <laughs> Come on, Dad. He seems like a neat dude. I think so. I don't know. The guy loves a good competition. But then again, apparently so do I. What did you think, uh... What did you and Daisy end up doing, I mean? <laughs> oh, we hunted for treasure for a bit, but Daisy was really adamant about not digging without a permit, so we just watched some documentary about theoretical physics. I put her to bed and then sat around eating Brian's food. Ah. Don't tell him <laughs> I said that. That's standard babysitting protocol, I believe. I believe it is. Yeah. I really like I really like hanging out with Daisy. She's super mature for her age. Yeah, Brian says she's a uh, hard time. Brian says she has a hard time relating to other kids. She kind of reminds me of you at your age, that age, her age, age. Although she doesn't bite people as much as you did. Can't believe I'm finally the cool older kid. Feels good. You gonna hang out with Brian again? That's the thing. He wants to go fishing with me. What? Oh. <laughs> I told him I was an amazing fisherman. You hate fishing. <laughs> I know, I'm kind of panicking. I'm sure it'll be fine. All you have to do is wake up at the crack of dawn and sit silently in a boat for a, on a lake for hours on end with no promise of a tangible reward, your only companion being the fear and doubt you harbor <laughs> deep within your heart. Fishing's fun. You'll remind yourself as you work as your world darkens around you, and you wonder if it's really you staring back at yourself in the lake's reflection, or simply just the abyss. Yeah, laugh it up, Amanda. You're coming with us. It is my constitutional <laughs> right to outright refuse this order. Daisy's coming, too. Well, hmm. I bet I can conv convince Brian to bring his dog. Fine, sold. I'm in. All right, I'm bushed. Gonna call it a night. Don't stay up too late, okay? You got it, Pops. I think we did good. We must have done well. I think we did good on that one. We didn't make him angry at all. I don't know what S because we did miss a I don't know if this holes. stuff matters, but... I can't because it's really low. And we got yes! an S rank. It doesn't yeah. matter. Two S's in a row. I think it, it seems like it just... As long as you get hearts, I guess it's good. Well, it's hearts and you did win the mini game. And we did win the mini game. Like, I don't Same think you have to 100% Damien. it. Yeah. Nicely done. I heard that one was a tough one. Yeah. Good stuff. Guys, that was the Brian date. We're good at men, except for Matt. Except for Matt. Well, that was our first date. We were, with, we were all with nervous. Brian. and No, I mean oh, with Matt. With, that was our first date ever. Yeah. Ever. First time so dating cool, a daddy. He was so cool, I know. He's cool dad, I believe. So I thought I, thought I liked that. Yeah, it was a fun was date. nice. Yeah. I'm still, I'm still the same on him. I'm just like, he's all right. Yeah, pretty much the same. I, I don't know if I'd put him over the other two, but I do like him. Mm. Like, I would want to get his ending, just probably not the first one, I guess? Yeah, eventually. I want to get all their endings just to check them out. But. Yeah. All right, guys, let us know what you thought of the Brian date, and uh, next time we're probably going to date another dad. Hot damn. Who do you want to see us date? Ooh. Ooh. Leave a comment below. Bye. Bye.